All right, if you made it this far, you know what body type we're on. We're on the last body type. This is the body type five, fifth video. If you've seen my other videos, if you have not, you need to go back and watch them because if this is not your body type, which is the no curves, straight up and down, the model body type, as you would say, the olive oil you may have heard, of, I'm not picking on you. These are just some names that you may have heard growing up or people have said to you. Um, she's just slim, she, you know, she's just real slanky and that's your body type. And we're going to talk about how to style it and how to, to make sure to make it looks like that you do have the curves and that you do, you know, we're going to accentuate it and get the illusion of the proportional body, the hourglass that everybody wants. You know, but also just be happy that to to really dress and know how to dress your body type, right? So, um, I said we're gonna make five videos. This is the fifth video, and to make sure that you you know your body type right, uh, if you go to the first video, we take the soft measuring tape. We measure the bust, the waist, and the hips. And for this body type, if your bust, waist, and hips are pretty much all the same size, then you are the no curves body type. And I didn't come up with this name, <laughs> but this is some of the names that people call it. No curves, the rectangle, athletic build. This is your body type, okay? So I was going to make five videos. This is my fifth one. But if you stay to the end, I am going to make a bonus video for the body parts that kind of trip us up. Like for me, I have broad shoulders. Uh, you may have small ankles or cankles or thick thighs or certain body parts that trip you up. So I'm going to make a video to kind of to help you style those body parts, right? So that'll be my next video. And then I'm going to be done for now on the body types and body parts until, until we see what goes further. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be making videos to definitely help us with our body parts. Right now, I do focus on the women. And I'm going over the women's body parts and body types. <laughs> Later on down the road, I may work on men. And uh, well, I've been thinking about working on men and talk about their body parts and body types, right? Um, but that could be down the line. But if you don't subscribe, if you don't hit the notification bell, you're not going to know about it. Right. All right. Let me go ahead and get into this video. For my no curve ladies, let's talk about how to style you, right? How to style you. So for your body part, body part, body type, we'll get to body parts in the next video. For your body type, we want to talk about you actually wearing garments that are more clingy. That wearing fabrics, the knit fabrics that I talked about in other videos, you can wear those so greatly because the body, the actual knit fabrics are going to cling to your body so much. You're like, oh, I'm just straight up and down. Yeah, so say you wear a super knit top right it's going to cling to your body say you have on a knit bodysuit but then you have on a structured bottom that is more structured has more um more waisty hip look that's going to give you a proportional and if i have an um a visual i'll provide the visual in the video um but it's going to give you more of a curvy look not straight up and down you know for your body type you have an amazing body, an amazing body. People wish they could wear the things that y'all could wear. And I know you're like, oh, we're just straight up down the curve. You can wear things that some of us can't wear. We try to wear it. We don't look as good as you because you have that body. You can wear the deep V-neck tops. You can wear the whole backless freaking dresses and look amazing without any rumples or bumples, any, any, any um, back fat. You ain't got no big bad problems. <laughs> so you can wear that and look amazing. We're like, dang, girl, you look good. I wish I could wear that. You can wear it and look absolutely amazing. Now, one way to wear that and give you the curves is having a dress that has, like I said, the deep V-neck already. So now it's going to make you look like you have a bust, right? You can always wear a push-up bra to give you bust if you don't have that. So this is also already giving you curves here. You are in deep V-neck, you have a push-up bra, that's gonna give you curves. If you have something that's going to bring in, say you have a top or a dress that's bringing you in, right? 
then you're going to want to have a bottom of the dress or a bottom of the skirt that is going to flare out a little bit or that is going to have some kind of asymmetrical, some kind of structure, some kind of print that's going to give you the illusion of curves. I hope you're, hope you're following me, right? Another thing that you all can do is making sure, because you have such a small frame, making sure that you have textured material. Um, textured material, denim. Denim can be your best friend. Tweed. Corduroy. And corduroy for fall, winter, it always comes in and out. Definitely having those textured garments. So it's going to make you look a little bit more bulkier, of course, in the right places. And it's going to give you that illusion that you have curves, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hope you're following along. <laughs> um, other items like, I don't know if you've seen the pants that has the multiple buttons going up the waistline. Um, the pants that give you curves that have like the booty um, kind of lining to make sure it gives you the curves. Three-dimensional um, look that has like the flaps, the extra pockets with the flap. Just items if you get it that it's more giving you more accent around the waistline. Okay. Because you want to create that curve around the waistline, around the, the assets area, okay? If you watch my other videos, you know what I'm saying. Um, other ways, and if I said this in other videos to accentuate and give that curvy look, choose items that have vertical and horizontal seaming. So if you seen, once again, um, say a jacket that has the seaming that kind of flares out, kind of like the peplum look, to give you that curvy look, seeming that maybe seems here seems going down this way it's giving you curves it's giving you a bust it's giving you a waist so those are different things you have to play around with your items a little bit more items that are more structured more that is going to already be kind of like they've made it to look for women who may not have the hourglass they made the the actual garments look like an hourglass those items are for you because it's going to give you the illusion. I don't know if you've seen the dresses that have the seaming that already has like the curves in it. Those are for you. It's going to give you that hourglass look. It's going to give you, it's going to accentuate your whole look. That's for you, babe. <laughs> That's for you. So I hope those definitely helped you out. I hope you were able to really gain from those tips for sure. Once again, as I say in all my videos, you always can email me, closetinvite at gmail.com. You can go on my website, www.closetinvite.com. Follow me on all social medias. I post videos all the time um, to help us. I'm all about women knowing how to style ourselves, giving you tips, giving you tricks. And so, yeah, feel free to email me. Feel free to look at my website, my website, and I'll link it in the description as well. Um, I offer free consultations. If you like, toy tips are great, but I really need your help. You know what you're doing. <laughs> what I'm doing. I need your help. That's why I am a certified image consultant, and I definitely can help you to be able to. So what I do for my clients, I definitely do a full closet um, audit. We do a full style plan. I give you um, the resources as in your body type style guide. I give you a really in-depth body type style guide for your body type. I go through your body type with you and provide you those resources. We go shopping for items for you that's either um, in person or virtual. If you're not in Charlotte, North Carolina or surrounding areas, or you just don't have the time, I provide virtual services as well to help you. So I'm all about just making us look, I want us to look amazing. I want all of us to look amazing each and every day because it definitely, you know, how much our image and our appearance really affects us day to day our mental, how we show up, our confidence. The last thing you need to be thinking when you are in the room, walking into the room, it's like, damn, I should have worn my mother's shoes. Oh, the shirt a little tight. I don't think I look the best. It plays with your mental. It plays with your confidence. You can't walk up and be like, hey, I'm such and such. Or, hey, I feel that great when you're having that meeting because something ain't right. It's a little off. My look a little off. I ain't feeling, I ain't feeling myself today. But when you feeling yourself and you know you look good, baby, can't nobody tell you nothing. 
<laughs> they can't tell you Nathan. You like, yeah, yada yada yada. You might be wrong, but you got the most confidence in the world. So I just want us to show up because why well, focus so much on women? Because I'm a woman. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I have helped me caregiver. I've helped just so many. I just focus on so much. You know, my mother instinct, my my care instinct, I just love so much that sometimes we forget to love on ourselves. We forget to take care of ourselves. And I know how important it is. If we don't focus on ourselves, nobody else will. Because they are basically waiting for you to show them how to treat you. And if you don't treat you well, who else going to treat you well? You know? So I just want us to love on ourselves and continue to show up for ourselves so we can show up for our kids and our family and our nieces and nephews and the generational, our legacy. That's that. <laughs> I love y'all from the deepest of my heart. The depths of my heart is the reason why I created Closet Invite because I really see my family, friends, just women out here. And I'm just like, I just want to, not in a bad way, but I want to take you. I'm like, baby. Let's work on you. Let's work on you. I want you to show up so you can start walking around, you know, so you can have that confidence and hold your head high. Because we make this world go round. <laughs> Period. <laughs> no, but anywho, I am going to see y'all in the next video. I'm going to talk about some body parts. And I hope y'all have liked, subscribed, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time.